this week in ESL class, you're going to read and learn about Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez was an American farm worker, labor leader, and civil rights activist. Cesar Chavez is very important to labor unions. He is an icon in the Hispanic community. He has a day dedicated to him, which is March 31st. This day is a state holiday in California, Colorado, and Texas. His early life. Cesar Chavez lived from March 31, 1927 to April 23, 1993. He was a Mexican-American born in Yuma, Arizona. His parents were Juana Estrada and Labrado Chavez. He had two brothers, Richard and Labrado, and two sisters, Rita and Vicky. He grew up in a small adobe house. After some misfortunes, his family moved to California be to become migrant farm workers. Later in life, the Chavez family worked in the fields in California, picking peas, lettuce, cherries, corn, grapes, and other fruits and vegetables. When he was older, he would drive people to hospitals or for whatever they needed if they could not drive. He stopped going to school at seventh grade to work in the fields. In 1944, he joined the United States Navy at the age of 17 and served for two years to learn skills for later life. When Chavez returned home from the military, he married his high school sweetheart, Helen Fabula, and moved to San Jose, California, and had eight children. His legacy. Chavez co-founded the National Farm Workers Association with Dolores Huerta. He has many schools, streets, and parks being named after him, especially in the West. Chavez has statues and centers honoring him. He has since become an icon for organized labor and leftist politics, as well as grassroots organizations. He popularized the slogan, Si Se Puede, which is Spanish for Yes, One Can. His activism. Chavez worked in the fields until 1952, when he became an organizer for the Community Service Organization. He urged Mexican Americans to register and vote, and he traveled throughout California raising awareness of workers' rights. He became CSO's national director in 1958 of workers' rights. His method. He had an aggressive but nonviolent approach to unionism. He had the growers recognize United Farm Workers as a bargaining agent in California and Florida. Chavez undertook a number of spiritual fasts to promote the principle of nonviolence. His death. Chavez died on April 23, 1993, of natural causes in Arizona. His widow, Helen Chavez, donated his union jacket to the National Museum of American History, a branch of the Smithsonian. After his death, many are inspired by him and continue his work. One of Chavez's grandchildren is the professional golfer, Sam Chavez. In 1992, Chavez was awarded the Payson and Terrace Award, named after a 1963 encyclical by Pope John XIII because of his peaceful approach. In 1994, Chavez was presented posthumously with the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Bill Clinton. This award was received by his widow, Helen Chavez.